Hello, fellow traders. Tis I, the Rumpled One, coming to you Friday, January the 27th. The year's 2023. Let's talk trading. Weekly wrap-up. These videos are for educational purposes only. Your results may differ from mine. So let's go ahead and take a look at the weekly chart. As you can see, according to the uh, chart here, we are about 7 to 8 pips below the weekly open. All the weekly gaps have filled. And you can see we've taken out the uh, weekly pivot. And we've also taken out the uh, previous midpoint. Moving on, looking at the daily chart, you can see we've crossed below that weekly open. We've crisscrossed it every day this week. Uh, we're still within the uh, opening range for the week. 61 off the high, 63 off the low, so practically right in the middle there. You know, zooming out to the monthly, we're 296 pips above the monthly open. You can see we barely made a new high for uh, uh, or broke out of um, December's high barely but we definitely broke out of December's low and we are definitely above the opening range for the month 284 above that opening uh, range high we're 296 above the yearly open which is the same as the month since it's January. <clears throat> and you can see it looks like so far we've got, this is the fourth green month in a row. We put in a inside bar two days ago. We opened above it and then we've crossed below the inside bar high at 2403. And there's a handful of inside bar action across the daily, weekly, monthly. A lot on the monthly, actually, on some of the other pairs. Today's range is only 74 pips. We've had a couple of muted days here. Looks like today might be an inside bar. Only two pairs over 100 pips. And you can see this new hour, we've all, we're starting to go back down. Almost hit the short zone. You can see here at the beginning of the day, we went up to the buy zone but didn't break it. So any buys would have either been scratched out or stopped at a stop loss, either below the open or below or into the short zone. And for those of you new, uh, the buy zone something... I uh, created um, back when I was trading stocks when I noticed there were certain stocks that if they moved anywhere between 10 to 20 cents away from the open either to the north or to the south chances are they would go at least um, plus 50 or minus 50 and I just saw uh, a way if you take trade a thousand shares and make a dime you could print hundred dollar bills and so then I migrated that um, software here to the Forex foreign exchange and you can pretty much run the same statistics and in this case it's between 8 and 10 pips from the open if price moves that way usually it'll go higher but in this case it didn't but it definitely went lower so that's how the <clears throat> that's the little of the history of the buy zone rats the green rats have definitely uh, been having opportunities to eat some cheese uh, red rats. We haven't quite gotten to the red rat zone again uh, Pivot trading plan Bambino Flex indicator said to go long, but um, There really wasn't much opportunity price near the pivot to go long. You can see we hit that pivot, but um, Price just isn't holding up there Price near S1 long, that definitely worked out in the favor here at 23.58. Taking any of those bounces or crosses to the north <clears throat> would have paid off nicely. We took out that daily pivot. Oh, I'm sorry, we, that's the monthly pivot. 
no, that was the daily pivot. I was looking at the wrong thing. Definitely daily pivot. Weekly pivot. You can see we've got a missed pivot two weeks ago. We've got one, two, three, four from 2022. In the monthly, we took out that pivot. We missed the pivot in December and May and April and March last year. Those monthly pivots have been missed, but you can see it's possible they get taken out this year. <clears throat> wick zone, in and out of the upper wick zone, and we're stuck in the lower wick zone. Haven't climbed out of it. On the smart range for the week, only 185 pips. You can see that's at the 16 percentile. Um, definitely low. Range high minus previous high on the week, 12 pips. Nothing to sneeze about, but um, it was only 12 pips. We didn't break out of the previous week's low. High minus close for rats. 57 close minus low 128 at the moment and for weekly uh, buy zone traders high minus open chance of 53 open minus low 131 so once again those horizontal lines paid off <clears throat> <coughs> looking at the walmart uh price action simple chart here you can see a couple hours ago uh Long at the line here would have paid off here. Short at the line would have paid off. Then long at the line. And here short at the line would have paid off down to 84. But it's cropped back up to 90. So there was another 5 or 6 pips to be had. And I guess there were some traders, uh, you know, who are trading more than one method. <laughs> And I was talking to Walmart about it. And you're, you're, you're just making life complicated. You know, you want to simplify things. And, you know, out of the methods, I would pick a method where the lines don't change. Um, so like the Walmart method, you're always going to have the lines at the same spots. Or the buy zone. Um, the lines are always going to be at the same spot. Now, for the wick zone, it'll change from day to day, but once the, the day opens, the new trading session opens, those lines are not going to move. Whereas, opposed to the rat zone, those lines move. And, and so, and then, you know, if you want to do something, you know, we've been talking about the flip flop boxes and the high, lower, low, high, higher, low. These lines move all the time. So, if you're, if you're struggling, if you're uh, not making consistent profit, you might be making profit, but then turning around and giving it back. I would switch to one method and a method where the lines don't change. So you already know where the lines are. So you can focus more of your attention on entering properly, exiting properly, focus on your money management. And you don't have to worry about, okay, well, wh where's that lower high, higher low? Or, or where's that flip-flop box? Um, because those things are just going to could possibly um, confuse you. Or if you miss something, um, you you'll wind up in a loss. Okay, ATR for the pound dollar for January is 635. And if we take a look here, if we show the actual range by month so remember 635 and the range is 606 so you can see we're, we're really close so if it's going to make a move i do believe the chances of it uh making a gain would be to the north rather than to the south so you might want to look for some upside if you're so inclined And so right now, uh, let's see, we've already seen the close minus open for the month. So close minus the year to date. Let's see. 
So we are 2.49%. So we are in the green. And taking a look at the trade reminder. Um, let's see. Let's we can start with the monthly. 308 pips above the open inside the upper wick zone of the monthly. We've exceeded the previous month's range. Buyers are in, have strong control. We're above the mi previous mid. And then we crossed above the previous mid. We're above the monthly pivot and we crossed above the pivot. We've got a higher high. And a lower low so that means we've got an outside bar moving down to the weekly and we're above the uh, indicator two barely above or actually we're below the open where price is in between the uh, wick zones so we're in the body of the candle <clears throat> buyers weak control at the moment higher high higher low and we've crossed below the weekly open. And then if we move to the daily, we're barely above the um, EMA5. We're inside the lower wick zone on the daily. Buyers weak control. Barely above the previous mid by 1.8 pips. We've crossed below the daily pivot. We have a lower high and a higher low. That is an inside bar. We're only uh, eight pips away from indicator two. As I mentioned before, inside the lower wick zone. And then we can drop it down to H1. And you can see once again how price danced around that S1 pivot. So you had one, two, three four five opportunities actually coming and this was yesterday so today you had about five opportunities around that 58 call it 60 level there to uh take a long trade and make some money now once again trading these pivots these lines once they're plotted they don't move so if you're a beginning trader and you want to trade pivots, you can do that. But, you you know, you keep the method as simple as possible. So like with the trading plan, it said go long, you know, near the pivot. So you wait for it to get near it or cross below it. And then when it comes back above, you take the trigger and you can see how that would have paid off today. Now here, um, you know, it went all the way down to S1. Or it came down here to the pivot, tried to go up, then you would have been stopped out most likely. Right somewhere here. So then you can try again here. So, you know, losing is part of trading. Can't expect to win every trade. So, fellow traders, um, next week we've got ADP on Wednesday, NFP on Friday, so be ready. If you like those news days to trade, lots of price action, lots of volatility usually. Because we'll be into February next week on Wednesday. So I hope uh, the year has been profitable for you traders so far. And I'm going to wish you a fun and safe weekend. And Walmart's going to be, uh, he said he's going on vacation again. <laughs> um, he's earned it. So I hope you, once again, have a fun and safe weekend. And when you come back next week, always remember, never forget, it's not what you trade, it's how you trade it. So go out there and drain the banks. This is the Rumpled One, over and out.